few days into July, and uh, the weather this last weekend here in Columbus and, and the area in southwest Missouri, southeast Kansas, was absolutely beautiful. Went to the farm show and didn't just drip all day long. I went at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Normally that's almost a death sentence, but uh, got to go and enjoy seeing some patients around the farm show and, and uh, had a great time with uh, my oldest daughter went with me, Andrea. Um, today we've uh, got a few birthdays. We've got uh, Wyatt and Jerry and Seth and then Kayla out at Crossland's uh, birthdays today. Happy birthday to Kayla. Uh, one of the topics today we're looking at is what causes bad breath. Well, we could be here a long time talking about that, but we're just going to go through a, a few just to, you know, it's one of the questions that we get from our patients asking about bad breath. And uh, a lot of different things from something real simple that's easy to take care of to the other stuff that, you know, maybe we've got to really take a look at. One of the things is not brushing for your full two minutes and flossing. You get some of that nasty old uh, pork fritter from the other day stuck in between your teeth and three days later it's uh, it's rolled up to a pretty nasty little hunk of meat in there and that will make your breath stink. Uh, so you know really stay with that brushing and flossing to get rid of that plaque and and all the food particles that are in there that'll help you a lot. Um, the foods that you eat, uh, garlic of course, uh, but there's other things. Sometimes uh, some of the broccolis and so forth with the extra little kick to them, sometimes those will give you just a little bit of some uh, temporary bad breath. But, you know, there again, uh, you know, that, that you, can, you can control that. Uh, smoking, you know. Now, I'm not going to jump you about smoking, but smoking will cause bad breath. It stains teeth, causes all kinds of problems, gives you all kinds of grief. You know, just as a health professional, smoking, I'm going to tell you, please try to stop and uh, try to get help if you need it. Uh, it's just it's just going to long run better for you. Bad breath being one of the minor things that smoking caused. Uh, then the last thing, and this is where it gets a little bit more out there a little bit, but uh, systemic diseases, uh, diabetes, uh, other things that, you know, especially diabetes is the big one. It's that sometimes uh, you get a, a breath that's uh, caused from a systemic disease and, and sometimes you can actually be diagnosed with diabetes from your breath. But uh, there again, you know, it can go from the simple to the tough. But, uh, you know, if you need some help with that, we'd be more than happy to uh, kind of take a look, help you out with uh, maybe what your cause might be. Uh, link of the day. We got a three-year-old girl. I, I, I hadn't heard anything out of Michael Jackson for about the last three minutes. So we thought we'd go ahead and do a little something Michael Jackson. A uh, little girl dances to Thriller. Uh, little three-year-old, so they, I haven't seen it yet. I'll have to look at it afterwards, but these guys tell me it's just killer thriller. So uh, have a great day, and uh, we've got a bunch of birthdays tomorrow, I know, and we'll see you then.